What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, we're going to be taking a first look at the leaked iPhone 6 case. So I want to give full credit to Unbox Therapy for this video he's showing us right here. This is actually his video that he put up today. But anyways, this is an alleged iPhone 6 case. And right off the bat here, you could see that it has to do with the iPhone 6. Is It looks similar to the case leaks that came out about a week or two ago as we saw the renderings online that matched up with a leaked case. And you could see here it is again, but for the first time actually being held and looked at by a person. Right off the bat there, you could see before that he was showing us the actual power button is now located on the side. Side, which would regularly be on the top of the iPhone as it has for the last several years but it has been moved since this is supposed to be the bigger screen now this is the alleged 4.7 inch screen we're still yet to see any accessories for that matter for the 5.5 inch suspected model so it does look a little bit different here in terms of how much bigger the actual case gets and you could tell just how much taller it is when he actually puts his iPhone 5s side by side right there you could just see how much taller it is on the top and bottom ensuring you that this is opted for that 4.7 inch screen 0.7 inches bigger than what we have on the iPhone 5s so that just suspects it as well and with that bigger screen you know you're gonna want to have that button on the side versus actually having it on the top and then on the side here on the other left side you could see the volume rocker cutouts as well as the mute switch you can see the volume rockers are now back to square shaped like they were uh, before the iPhone 4 kind of like the iPod touch very unusual to see this I don't know if Apple will completely go through with this but maybe for a thin design that's what they have to do and you know the ringer switch is pretty much the same cutout too but it's interesting to see that Apple may actually be opting for those square buttons again and just taking a look at the back you can see the camera does look a little bit different it looks more off to the side almost and it kind of has a wider cutout which will still be for of course the camera microphone and hopefully dual flash but it's kind of moved to the side a little bit and then of course a cutout for the Apple logo and then taking a look at the things on the bottom pretty straightforward you know it's changed up a little obviously we'd have the speaker port on the bottom lightning port as well as the actual headset jack and microphone that may be actually on the bottom as well for a more rounded iPhone 6. But if you guys like that video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. I'll see you guys in the next one.